Unsymmetrical parabolic curves are curves in which the distance of PVC to PVI is not equal to the horizontal distance of PVI to PVT making the left side and the right side of the curve unsymmetrical. So, in symmetrical parabolic curve, we have equal distance on the left side and in the right side. But in this case, L1 is not equal to L2. And the total length of the curve L is equal to the sum of L1 and L2. Or in this your H, or the vertical offset. This height is equal to G1 times L2. Or in this your G1. This is your G2, negative sign for descending grade. And this is negative G2, L2. So the algebraic sum is G1 minus G2 times L2. So let's try to derive the formula. So, by ratio and proportion, we have 2H is to L1 equals G1 minus G2 multiplied by L2 is to L1 plus L2. So from here, we can solve, or we can cross multiply L1 and 2 in order to retain H on the left side of the equation. So by cross multiplication, we have H equals G1 minus G2 times L1, L2 over 2 times L1 plus L2. So this will be the formula for H or the vertical offset of parabola. So, again, it's a cross multiplication. We have H equals G1 minus the quantity of G1 minus G2 times L1, L2 over 2 times the quantity of L1 plus L2. Now, if you have given H and L2, but we are up to solve for the value of L1. Again, from this ratio and proportion, if we try to cross multiply, we have 2H times L1 plus L2 equals G1 minus G2 L1, L2. So we expand. So we have 2H, L1 plus 2H, L2 equals G1 minus G2, L1, L2. So we have to isolate 
L2 here and L1 here by transposition we have 2H L1 equals G1 minus G2 L1 L2 minus 2H L2 so we have to divide the whole equation by L1 but first so we have here So this whole equation cannot be divided by L1. But we can isolate L2. We have 2H L1 equals L2 times G1 minus G2 times L1 minus 2H. So here, we can divide both sides of equation by this bracketed expression G1 minus G2 L1 minus 2H So, again G1 minus G2 L1 minus 2 H so cancel cancel we have L2 equals 2 H L1 over L1 G1 minus G2 minus 2 H. So that is the formula for L2. So using the similar approach, we can solve for the formula of L1. So just change this. The subscript L1 equals 2H L2 over L2 times G1 minus G2 minus 2H. So, there you have it. So, now we have to locate the highest or the lowest point. So the formula for the location of highest or lowest point. So unlike the symmetrical parabolic curve, in order to locate the Highest or the lowest point, let's say we have this highest point A, and this is your S1, this is your S2. 
So, to locate the highest or the lowest point, we have first to check when L1 G1 is L1 G1 over 2 is greater than H we have to use S2 equals G2 L2 squared over 2 H but when L1 G1 over 2 is less than H, we have to use S1 equals G1 L1 squared over 2 H. And those are the formulas for the unsymmetrical parabolic curve. And we also have, before I forget, we have also y. And this is x. For example, we have y1 and the corresponding distance x1. We have, again, to use the or let's call this y2, x2. We have to use the square property of parabola wherein y2 is 2x2 squared. Uh, y2 is 2x squared equals h is 2l2 squared. On the other hand, if the y is here, we have y1, we have distance x1, we have y1 is 2 x1 squared equals h is 2 l1 squared and these are the formulas for unsymmetrical parabolic curve